Welcome back to my channel. Glad to see you back. And for those of you that are new, welcome, welcome. So today we are going to do an empties video. And I'm really excited to do that because I love watching empties videos. I really like empties videos because that means that the person who finished that product has really gotten to know that product and you get to know as the viewer that they liked the product so much that they actually used it all. So let's get right into it. I'm going to get through these empties and show you what I've got. I've got quite a few. I've got a decent amount. I've got like a whole bag full of them that I've been saving up for the past few months. I think it's like four or five months worth of stuff, but it's been at least a few months. So let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, um, there I want to say that there is a mix of makeup and body products, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. So one of my favorite things that I've been trying lately, and I've got a few of these little samples. I've gone through quite a few of them, but it's by Pureology, and it is called a Multitasking Hair Beautifier, and I use this after my showers, and it like helps with detangling as well, and I love this stuff. It nourishes your hair so well. It's wonderful. I love it, and I have a couple of samples left, but when I finish those, I plan on purchasing a full size. The next thing I'm going to show you is this little Lancome Regeneration Eye Cream. It's for anti-aging and it's a multi-action eye lifting and firming cream. I really like this. I did not really notice any kind of lifting action, but I also don't think I have a problem with like my eyelids or my under eye not being like lifted. But it was very moisturizing and I really enjoyed it while I had it. It's like a deluxe sample that I got and I did enjoy it while I used it. I don't think I will be repurchasing it though because I have other creams that I use that are cheaper and they pretty much work the same way. So, yeah. The next thing I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner and it is waterproof. Okay, so my only complaint with it is that it doesn't have that much product and it actually has, let's see here, 0.28 grams of product in it. I really like this eyeliner, but I would say the problem is there's not that much product in it and I went through it and I think continued use would be like three weeks and that's ridiculous. Like. This thing is 20 bucks, <laughs> and that's that's kind of ridiculous. I did repurchase it because I really do like it, but it is pretty expensive, and I don't plan on using it like as an everyday type of thing because it is a soft eyeliner that works really well for tight lining and smoking. So, yeah, that's that one. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is this Get Happy White Peach Sangria by Bath & Body. This is a body wash and I really enjoyed it. And one of the things I love about um, Bath & Body is that they do not use animal derived glycerin. So when I read in the ingredients that there's glycerin, I don't have to be worried that it might be pork and I don't have to email the company and get deeper into what is this ingredient. And they always smell delicious. So Bath & Body Works. The next thing is this D-Slick Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. I actually have gone through two of these in the last, like, I think it's been maybe two months. I purchased the, like, travel size one, and then I purchased it again because I was, I've always been, like, a die-hard MAC Studio Fix setting spray, and that's all I use, like, that is my die-hard thing. I've tried other setting sprays, I never really liked them, but I tried this one and I was like, Oh my gosh, I think I love this. And then I was like, no, maybe you're just like getting into some sort of hype in your head or something. So I bought another travel size and I do, I love it. I plan on repurchasing a full size and I think this is gonna be my new go-to setting spray. Like I love it and it really does de-slick. It keeps your face matte all day. I plan on repurchasing this for sure. Okay, so this next one, I used every little bit I could get out of this thing. Like I straight up cut the thing because it's 50 bucks and I did not repurchase it because I did find a fa uh, face lotion that I enjoyed that was cheaper. So this is called Ceramidin. 
and it, like literally this like tube is all ripped up because I was like I'm gonna get every little bit out of this So it's called Ceramid and Cream. It's a Dermacare technology. It says a nutrient enriched cream. It comes with 1.7 fluid ounces and it's like $48, $45, something like that. And I, I mean, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I know of other lotions that I can get that are just as good, that work just as well on my skin. And that'll be the next one that I show. <laughs> so yeah, that's that one. The next one that I want to share with you guys is from Too Cool For School and it's the All-in-One Egg Mellow Cream and I absolutely love this stuff. This is the, I believe, the second one I've already gone through and I've already repurchased a new one. And I also use their face washes as well, but I really enjoy this. So this lasted me about two or three months and I did two pumps per day because I wash my face in the morning and I wash my face at night and I use the same lotion for both. So, pump per wash. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that was a pretty good, like, that was a really good amount of time for it to last and everything. It's 1.76 ounces and it's 50 grams of product. So, that's a pretty decent amount of product. It's like, I think it's $30 at Sephora. And during the holidays, you can get, like, gift sets where it comes with face wash and a mask. And... The next thing is my Roller Lash by Benefit, and I think every empties has one of these. I like to use this because I'm a weirdo, and I use different mascara for my bottom and my top lashes. I like to use this on my bottom lashes. This is the only mascara that I use on my bottom lashes. I I just like how it looks. I, I literally, I've never heard of anyone else using separate mascaras for their bottom lashes. Just, I love this one. And I always buy a travel size because I'm, since I'm only using it for the bottom, I don't ever use all of the product and I, like, mascara, I definitely stick with expiration date. I do not use a mascara for more than three months. And, like, it, it hurts because the formula is still fine and everything, but I will not, I will not use a mascara for more than three months just because uh, it's literally going in your eye and I don't, I don't want, yeah, no, 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 not messing with that. So the next one I'm gonna show you is Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. I have gone through probably like four or five of these. I love these, I literally use them every single day whenever you see my eyeliner. Nine times out of ten, it is Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. I love this stuff. It comes with 0.55 fluid ounces of product, which is a decent amount. It lasts pretty long. If I use it every day, I think I get about a month and a half to two months out of wear for it. And yeah, it's, like it's, it's a little less than most products, but I think it's totally worth it. It's $20 for this and... It's awesome. It has like a little brush tip and I absolutely love it. This is my Cargo Cosmetics wet eyeliner or is like swim eyeliner, wet swim eyeliner or something like that. It was decent. It was good. It wasn't a bad product, but I don't plan on repurchasing it because this happened. Like the lead, the eyeliner actually kept like falling out of the pencil and breaking and it was very frustrating so that is the reason why I'm not going to repurchase this and then I have this tart there's my cap so then I oh gosh what are you doing okay so I have this tart lip paint and this is in the shade let's see what does it say in the shade bay and it's a beautiful color, and when I first got it, it was a great uh, formula, and it felt great on the lips. It felt velvety smooth, and like this doesn't dry down all the way, so it wasn't very like it wasn't drying on the lips, but it also didn't stay. But every time I reach for it, it's all greasy, and the grease just kept leaking out. I don't know if maybe this one is just like. 
didn't have a good seal. I'm not sure. I've never had this happen with any other tart like lip stains or lipstick lip paints. The formula is ridiculously like horrible now. It's so dried out because all the oil is pretty much seeped out. And I don't even get how the oil keeps coming out because I store them like this and it literally just like every time I reach for it, it would be like ridiculously oily. I'm like, what is this? Why? Why? Why does this happen? But I mean, it is the only lip paint that it has ever happened with. Yeah, I don't plan on repurchasing this though, so yeah. And I don't want to take a chance with this oily mess again. The next thing is my Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. And I can't even count how many times I've repurchased these. I love this mascara. Here's the wand. There's the wand, and I just really like it, but it's been, and all the product's not gone. I feel like this always happens with my mascaras, but it has been three months, so it's time to let it go. The next one is my Smashbox Photo Finish, and it's in the shade Light, Oil Free, Non Grace. So, I love this primer. This is one of my favorite primers, but let me grab it. And this one's almost gone too, but this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer is a, basically a dupe for it. It's a little bit thinner, but it they literally perform the same way. So this one by Smashbox is $16, and this one is like $6 or $7, and it's got double the product in it. So I go with this one. I really love this one. If I get this one as a gift or as a sample, I use it, you know, I love it. But I would rather purchase this one for $6 or $7 than spend $16 on this, because they perform exactly the same way. So, a little dupe for you. Um, another mascara. This one I got, I think, in an Ipsy or a Birch Box or something. It's mess. It's by Well. The little I can't talk. This is by Well People. It's called the Expressionist Mascara, and it has a nice firm brush. It has a nice firm spoolie, and like if you look, it's like really firm. And I really liked this actually for my lower lashes as well. This worked really well, but I still love the roller lash mascara more. So, yeah. But I really did like this for my lower lashes. I won't be repurchasing it just because I love my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and it's my favorite. And then this is my MAC Eye Makeup Remover. Uh, this one I ran out of this time and I plan on repurchasing it. This one and the pink one that has the oil in it, I always repurchase. I think I will always repurchase them. I, these are the only makeup removers that I use because my skin is really sensitive and these do not irritate my skin. So, awesome. I love them. The next thing that I'm going to show you is not really like a traditional empties type of thing and the reason why I'm going to show it is because I had such a hard time finding something that didn't have glycerin in it that was pork derived and many of you know that I'm Muslim like flash but <laughs> many of you know that I'm Muslim and so I don't eat pork I don't use pork in any of my products so to the best of my knowledge any products that you ever see on my channel they don't have pork in them and I'm showing this one because I recently learned that pork is in this product I had no idea I had such a hard time finding a product that didn't have pork in it and it is called Preserve Shave 5. It's a razor. I recently just finished up this five pack of razors. It's really decently priced. I think it's like 20 bucks for a five pack. It is vegan certified and cruelty free. So I really like that and most people don't know but that little strip that helps with moisturization when you're shaving on your razor is actually glycerin derived and Every popular brand that is in like Target and Walmart that isn't vegan certified, it is pork derived. So that was fun when I learned that because it was really hard to find a razor. So that's why I'm putting this in here just because some of the people who don't know that or that are looking for a razor that is 
pork free or animal free this is a great brand and it works really well they last a long time and I did not have razor burn problems at all I got a nice close shave so I just want to let y'all know about that one and that's it for this time with empties with Jessica so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and supporting me and just coming back time after time and if you're new I hope you really enjoyed it as well don't forget to subscribe and for everybody don't forget to hit like on the video and if you have any questions on any of the products that I showed in this video please don't hesitate to ask comment below let me know if you have any ideas of what videos you'd like me to do let me know that as well and I think that is everything so I'll see you all later bye